Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today we're going to be looking over the Gerber flat iron pocket knife. So, stay tuned. Alright guys, now this knife, let's do a size comparison real quick, so... Here's the knife itself right there. Um, here's a paper clip. Cool. Um, here's a pen. Here's an unsharpened um, here's an unsharpened pencil. Alright, so uh, yeah, let's get into the knives for any non-knife guy. Oh for any uh, nice guys out there. Kershaw Emerson CQC 7K. Actually, let me, let, me, let me let that lay in there for a little bit longer. That way you can get a better idea. It's pretty similar in handle size. Uh, blade size definitely is different, uh, different length. Different style blade um, as well. Center M7D10 or 710, basically they're the exact same thing. Uh, definitely smaller over, overall uh, handle size and blade size. Uh, CRKT Squid, like I, like the 710, basically small everywhere as well. Kaiser, um, Kaiser Beglater, pretty similar in size actually, um, overall. Benchmade Griptilian, this I think is the closest in size out of all my knives, so I put that in last. Alright guys, so, just to show off the beauty of this thing, we're gonna do a we're gonna do a bunch of photos. Just do a bunch of photos now. So guys, I personally think this knife is a beautiful looking knife. Um, people have their opinions about clears and all that other stuff. Um, but I think they look good, so. Now let's get into uh, the meat and potatoes of this knife itself. So the blade length is three and a half inches. The blade thickness is 0 0.15 inches. This is ridiculously thick compared to everything else I own. Like, let's look at the big lighter, right? Yeah, that's thick, okay? Yeah, that is that is very thick. You see that right there behind the edge? That's, that's, that's ridiculous. I don't really seem to mind it. Um, that blade material is eight C, uh, sorry, seven CR seventeen MOV steel. So you have a you have a budget steel, but I mean that's okay for the amount you're paying for it. Uh, it's a cleaver blade shape, as you can see, um, and a hollow grind stone wash finish. This variant has the aluminum handles with the stainless steel frame lock. Um, its weight is coming in around five five point six one ounces, so it's a little heavy, a little heavy guy. Oh, well, you also got to remember the like, it, like it, with the blade stock being that heavy, it's gonna be with that thick. It's gonna be a heavy guy. So, thumb hole opener. You can either open it with your normal thumb and just ramp it over. Or you can give it a little finger flick with a little love. I should have done that better, but yeah, you get the idea. It's a stainless steel frame lock, like I said earlier. It is made in the country of China. It's It has a really comfortable finger twirl. Uh, I heard people have mixed feelings about it. I think it's comfortable. Uh, you can choke it up for fine detailed work or come down for more choppy tasks that this really thick blade is great for. Uh, no jimping, so uh, and it being entirely aluminum and stainless steel, I think it might be a little slippy, but I mean, if you grab it by that finger twirl, you'll be fine. 
Sorry guys, I'm kind of getting over a little cold here. I'm kind of getting into a cold here. Um, yeah, so it's pretty, I think that's all the pretty, like, good things. Maybe that jimping is, like, a negative thing to you, depending on, you know, what you think about it. Now let's start getting into some bad things. Um, this is just unappealing. It's just not good looking. It's flat, wide. And that brings us to our next point. The pocket clip's too wide. It just... This compared to this, okay? It's not a, it's not a lot of a difference, but man, it makes a difference. It is so big of a difference. It doesn't look like it, but you can feel it. And it's short, it's short and fat. It's just not good. Um, now on to another thing that, uh... Sorry guys, once again, I'm still dealing with that, this cold. Um, some things that, you know, that are just good. Uh, if you're not a fan of aluminum, maybe you want more grip, you can get the G10 variant. I haven't handled the G10 variant, so I can't tell you if it has more grip or not, but it might. Uh, there's no lanyard hole on this thing at all. That's just because it's just not, that's not, I don't think that's what this thing is intended for. But uh, I'm okay with that. Some people may, may not be. I'm doing, I'm gonna, I have a lanyard currently on my Spyderco Man X2. Uh, cause I wanna see if I like lanyards, and if I don't, and if I do, I'll tell you guys. Uh, it comes in around $28 and $32, uh, depending on which variant you get. And it is tip up, right hand, right handed carry only. So, sorry lefties. That really stinks, but uh, you know, what are you gonna do? I feel like lefties are pretty much out of luck for a lot of things. So, uh, overall, my opinions on this guy is if you want to get a knife that you want to be on, uh, it's not very good as far as cutting bottom edge, but anything else, like, you want a good chopping folder, which you never really hear of nowadays, but, uh, you'd get one of these. Or if you just want to look cool, I'd get one. But other than that, this thing holds no real practical purpose. I heard that there's going to be aftermarket stuff coming out for it, and I'm kind of excited for that because... I want to get rid of this and put on a deep carry and maybe then I'll enjoy it a little bit more or maybe like a, a new scale with a, a new scale that's like milled out that way it won't be so heavy either because I mean 5.61 ounces is pretty heavy um, for, for a pocket knife of course so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.